Modern technologies have enabled a level of personalization that we've never seen before. This is going to be critical in the future of education. So one of the things we're really focusing on is using technologies like machine learning and eventually artificial intelligence to make every single student's journey unique and to help orient UNSW's teaching and services around their individual needs. So our learning analytics intelligence team is working on a project called Data Insights for Student Learning and Support. The big aim of this is to really try and use machine learning to detect early on when students are at risk of academic failure and connect them to the right support and services when they need it most. The hope is that we can create a much better and more supportive environment for our students by catching students who need assistance early and helping them make the right decisions to seek out the support that they need as well. Being on this project has really enabled me as a lecturer in charge to understand some things about my students in a quantifiable way. So we know that students who perhaps leave something to the last minute, uh, go missing from Moodle, aren't engaging with the course materials, will not do as well as students who do. And being part of this project has meant that on a pretty regular basis, I can download information and then personalise messages to these students to say to them, are you aware that if you're not doing this, it's going to impact your ability to be successful. And if you're not doing it for a number of reasons, can you reach out to us? Here's some support links. Here's how you can get back on top. You know, don't sit and suffer in silence. Come and tell us what you need and let us direct you to who can help you for the future. For our course, what we started to do was we looked from the very beginning design. What happens to a student if they're only logging on the day of their class? What happens to a student if they're not looking at their feedback? What happens to a student if they're not doing something. Then we also looked at what happens to a student when they are doing it, when they're very proactive. And what we used was then a map across the course, week by week, day by day, of by which moment in the course they should have done something, seen something, been exposed to it. Then by tracking against that, we were able to support students in a personalised manner to ensure that they had the best opportunity to know what was expected of them when and to support them to do so if they were lost. It also meant that we were able to ensure that anybody who was perhaps a repeat student was not left behind. So without disclosing who that student was, I was able to encourage the tutors to say, if there is somebody in this class who's returning, please reach out to me. So we actually changed our languaging, our messaging, to ensure that we gave every student even more opportunities for success than they might naturally have. Data-informed teaching is the game changer of teaching for the future. If you want to be a teacher who can make a difference, a lot of our teachers do so much to support our students. And they do it based on good practice, what they've experienced, what they think they would want. What data-informed teaching does is it enables you to have a number of points where you can check in, A, what difference you could make, and B, did it make a difference? So you become evidence-based in how you're actually approaching your teaching. So where machine learning can help predict when something might happen, artificial intelligence takes it to a whole other level. That's where we can have human-like assessment of information, looking for possible outcomes, um, making connections between different sets of information. But really it's about having a human, or I should say a more human-like, connection to our students and staff. So, for example, instead of students having to read a complex graph or a report about how they're going with their learning, they can have a simple text or voice prompt from an AI that puts the situation to them in a more kind of one-on-one -on -one personal way. This makes the interaction with the system much more easy to understand, and it actually helps untangle all of that sort of 
technology that we usually have to interface with to get a result. So the hope for the project is that while we use machine learning to identify students at risk and predict patterns, we use the AI to connect that information to people in a way that makes sense to them so they can do something about it. Issues around privacy and ethics are paramount in this project. We've done a lot of work in developing the business case for this project with UNSW Legal and Compliance, who have done an assessment of the idea and have shown great interest and support. We'll be working with them over the coming months to do a detailed privacy impact assessment, which will provide foundational guidelines for us to ensure that we're not crossing any lines there that we shouldn't be. We're also forming uh, working groups with students and staff to make sure that we understand the concerns that they have and we can bring that into the design. And we'll also be creating steering committees to ensure that at every stage of development of the project, we're covered off all of the privacy and ethical issues that are emerging through our research into this space.